the filmography of Canadian-American actor and comedian Jim Carrey comprises both film and television roles. He has appeared in over 38 feature films, and 10 television movies and series. He is one of the top 25 highest-grossing actors of all time with over $2.4 billion total box office gross and an average of $94.5 million per film. He has been involved with 13 films that grossed over $200 million at the worldwide box office, the highest-grossing of which was 2000's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Overview. In 1984, Carey gained his first lead role in the short-lived TV series The Duck Factory, playing a young cartoonist and his first starring role proper in Once Bitten, a comedy horror movie with Lauren Hutton as a vampire countess and Jim playing as her victim. He landed supporting roles in several films, Peggy Sue Got Married, The Deadpool, and Earth Girls Are Easy. Carey's real breakthrough came in 1994, when he was given the leading role in Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, in which he played a goofball detective specialized in crimes involving animals. The film would go on to earn over $72 million at the box office. He followed this up with another two Two commercial successes, The Mask, in which he played a mild-mannered bank clerk who transformed into a wise-cracking superhero when he puts on a magical mask, and Dumb and Dumber where he and Jeff Daniels played a pair of childish men who come into possession of a suitcase full of money. The films ended up grossing $120 million and $127 million, respectively, and established Carrie as a star. His next projects included Batman Forever, Ace Ventura, When Nature Calls in which he reprised his famed role, The Cable Guy and Liar Liar. He gained critical acclaim in 1998's satirical comedy drama film The Truman Show, in which he played Truman Burbank, a man whose life was, unbeknownst to him, a top-rating reality television show. The film was highly praised and led many to believe he would be nominated for an Oscar, but instead he picked up his first Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Motion Picture Drama. He returned to comedy in 2000 redeeming with the Fairley Brothers for Me, Myself and Irene. It received mixed reviews but enjoyed box office success. That same year, Carrie also also appeared in his most financially successful film to date, How the Grinch Who Stole Christmas. He again turned a serious side for Frank Darabont's The Majestic. In July 2002, Jim Carrey announced he will co-star with Gary Shandling in Over the Hedge. In October 2004, however, he dropped out, and was replaced with Bruce Willis. Since 2000, and remake of Santa Claus Conquers the Martians has been rumored, with David Zucker as producer, and Carrey attached to play Drapa. An estimated release date was announced as 2002, though it was then believed to have been in development hell for his next feature film. Carey starred opposite Jennifer Aniston and Morgan Freeman in Tom Shadyake's international hit comedy Bruce Almighty, portraying a television newsman who unexpectedly receives God's omnipotent abilities when the deity decides to take a vacation. In 2004, he took a role in the critically lauded art house film Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, written by acclaimed screenwriter Charlie Kaufman and directed by the innovative Michael Gondry. Carey starred opposite Kate Winslet as a man pursued through his memories as they are erased. He received his fourth Golden Globe Award nomination, and was also nominated for his first BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role. Among his films in the 2000s were Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events, Fun with Dick and Jane, The Number 23, Horton Hears a Who, Yes Man, I Love You Philip Morris and A Christmas Carol. In 2011, he starred in Mr. Popper's Penguins as a divorced real estate entrepreneur, who becomes the caretaker of a family of penguins, and as a street magician in the incredible Burt Wonderstone. Mostly recently, Carrie starred in Jeff Wadlow's Kick Ass 2, where he portrayed Colonel Stars and Stripes. He also had a cameo in Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues. He reprised the role of Lloyd Christmas in Dumb and Dumber 2, where he again worked with the Fairley Brothers and Jeff Daniels. Film, television, documentaries, 